Well, when you look at this, casting seems pretty easy, right? You just get the player character, you get the return value, you plug it into the object, and then everything's good to go. Well, technically that's not the case. I'm sure you've struggled with the fact that you... Oh yeah, you unplug that, you have some kind of cast going on here, you have no idea what to put in the object because it just doesn't make sense because you've only seen using player characters and you have no idea how to do other things like widgets, states, instances, and whatever else. In this video, we're going to talk about how to cast correctly. I'm going to explain what goes into the object parameter, and hopefully by the time you watch this, you'll understand exactly how to cast to anything. So for this demonstration, we're going to be using widgets. I think this should be the best way to understand it. So I'm going to create two user interfaces. This one's going to be called parent, and the other one's going to be called cast to me. So the cast to me widget, it's not going to have anything in it. It's really just going to have one variable, and this variable is going to be called password. This password is going to be something that we're going to want to access from the other widget. And the password itself is going to be the word turtle. Compile, save, and we're done. Um, in the actual parent, though, we want to actually cast to that widget, and then we want to get that password. So off of construct, we're going to go ahead and take cast to cast to me. We'll go ahead and get the password. And we'll print it to the screen. Now, if this cast fails, what's going to happen is we're going to just print failed. And I think we're going to get an error if we don't put something in the object. Yeah, this is what you're used to seeing, and this is probably why you're watching this video, because you're getting this stupid error, and you don't know what to put in the object. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to get that other reference? Well, you actually need a reference to it first. I'm going to make a variable, and we're going to call this object. And it doesn't really matter what you call it, actually, but it's going to be an object reference. So to explain what an object reference is, is it's going to become a little blue dot. And you see these blue dots everywhere. There's a blue dot right here. This is technically an object reference. Don't confuse an object reference with a class, but instead see it as a specific reference to an existing object. So in this case, we're going to get an object that already exists in the world, and it's going to be the cast to me. Now, this is still going to fail. If I go ahead and play this, which let me go ahead and actually create the parent widget, And we'll just add it to the viewport. What's going to happen is we're going to get this failed. Hit play. Look at that. It failed. Because it doesn't exist. There's no way we can get this object if it doesn't even exist. It has to exist in the world first before we can do anything. So I'm going to make it instance editable, expose on spawn, and we're going to create this widget as its own other widget where we can get it and pull it into the other widget, the parent widget, and then cast to it. So next up on the to-do list, pull this pin off, we'll select none and then reselect parent so we have that object parameter, create widget, and this widget is going to be cast to me. Now, we don't have to add that to the viewport because we don't really need it, but we do need this reference. This return value is a reference to that existing widget of the cast to me class. So we pull that into the object parameter, once it's inside the parent, we now have our object right here. It makes a cast to that widget, and it either fails or succeeds, depending on if it exists or it's valid yet. Well, we know that based on the timeline of this code running, this definitely exists because it's created right here. So we hit play, and we get our password, which is turtle. But let's say you don't want to do any of this because your thing doesn't exist in the world. Let's say you just wanted to cast to that class and not even worry about these objects and stupid parameters you don't even need yet. Well, in this case, let's try this. Delete your failed, delete this stuff. In fact, you don't even need the object anymore. Go ahead, you don't need to make this because we're not changing anything inside of that class. We're not even using that object anymore. Select none, select parent, you can remove that. Now we're back to this, but how do we go inside of our parent and get that class? Well, let's cast to the class. Here's the cast to me class. Uh, there's no children of this class, so we're just going to set it back to cast to me. And depending on its existence, it's either going to fail or it's going to succeed. Well, in this case, we already know that this class is an existing related class to cast to me right here. And we know that we're not changing this variable. We just want the default variable. We want this turtle. So we go back, get default. Now here's our class defaults. Now usually it'll come over looking like this, and all you have to do is just go in the details and turn on whatever you need. So for example, I want the padding, I can get that. If I want the color and opacity of the actual widget, I can get that. But in this case, we just want our password. So this is another way of going in and getting your turtle to print to the screen.
Hopefully this video made sense. If it answered your question, feel free to give it a like. If not, put a comment below so I can help you out with your problem and hopefully make the perfect casting video for everybody to understand. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.